thing, I'd say. Considering I was hit and all. <laughs> you, you go ahead. Uh, I'll uh, cover this entrance. Hey guys, and welcome back to Resistance. So here we are on the final stage, the Angel's Lair of the Chimeran Tower. Well, we're going to wish our friend Godspeed. He's uh, in a bit of a bad way. <clears throat> so we must pick up and carry the torch. Not that we've really dropped the torch, to be fair. This entire, you know, conflict. But hey, whatever. Now this one... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this one is a little on the rough side. Godspeed, dude. Godspeed. So this is the nexus of everything that's happening in London. Looks like some of our boys made it inside, but, well... This has got to be a pretty gribble, uh, gribbly place to stumble into. Ah, new weapon. Doesn't look like a new weapon, but it is. This is the uh, Bullseye Mark II, which I personally don't notice a huge difference with, but apparently it's better. The Bullseye Mark II is an upgraded version of the Chimeran Service Rifle. It has the same functionality as the standard model, but uses a supercharged power cell to develop significantly more firepower. Slugs fired from the Mark II's create massive permanent cavitation in victims. Those not killed outright receive wounds which do not readily close. Fatal blood loss is inevitable without immediate medical attention. It is for this reason the Mark II is referred to simply as Blue Death. The Bullseye Mark II has only been observed in use by advanced hybrids engaging in base defense. Yeah. Now, when I'm personally using it, I don't notice too much difference. I mean, I'm sure there is. Uh, you know, without a doubt, I'm sure there's a difference. Um, but when the enemies use it... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, hello, sir. Interesting. Looks like they have angels in here. Lovely. Yeah, the the blue bull's eyes. Oof. They're nasty. Very nasty. Still, let's push up. Take our auger for a walk. And here they come. This is where the game really starts saying fuck you to the player. Without the auger and its shield, I'm not really sure how you'd easily get past this, to be honest. These guys really don't screw around. As you can see, just like one glancing shot from these guys is enough to do critical damage. But there's only a couple of them, right? Right? That was a bit unfortunate. Now this entire section is v very slow because we need to be creeping. Because these guys are rough. Anyway, that's that cleared out. <laughs> Ooh, that lark is going to be uh, a bit of a crutch, I think, as well. As well as this rifle. My god, this rifle. Now, the trouble with this bullseye... Although it is nice and, and powerful, uh, supposedly, by the time you've aimed at an enemy, 
singled one out, shot a dart into it, and then fired back. You're dead. <laughs> I, you know, ah, dude. Unless they stand like that. In which case, you can get a nice little free hit on. Whoop! Hot potato! Ooh. That worked surprisingly well. Come on, let's see that little head of yours. In fact, have that. Ooh, Britain's finest. Right here. Being wielded by our American friend. Okay, I think we cleared that place out. Oof. Um, yeah, checkpoints on this level uh, are extremely unfair. Uh, if you die, <sighs> it is a little bit frustrating. But, you know, it's the final level, I guess. So, you have to expect it. Halo had this really, like, kind of strange checkpointing system that no other game has had. Now, you either love it or you hate it. I absolutely love it. Because I know how to manipulate it to a degree. Uh, as a lot of people who play Halo know how to... Um, you learn how to manipulate the checkpointing system. So, it's not as good as being able to save wherever you want. But it's not too far off. Once you know what you're doing. Not that that really helps you much in Legendary, of course. But, uh, you know. Can't have everything now, can we? Hmm. Evening. Let's fight our first angel. These guys are a mixed bag. They're not really as dangerous as they look. But, and yes, there's a but, because there's always a but. If left unchecked, they can do horrendous amounts of damage to you. Now, one saving grace with this level is it is very generous with ammo. Very generous indeed. So we've got some menials. We've got a lot of menials now. Alright. Oh. Just volley fire into the groups. Hey, I did not say you could get back up. It's much easier, mate, if you stay down. Trust me. Oh, there's always a late one. There's always someone that's late to the party, isn't there? Oh, hello. There's a couple of late guys. Oh, that's okay. Plenty of bullets for all. Yeah, cannot guarantee that we're going to get through this in a smooth uh, single run. <laughs> because uh, there is some nasty little choke points on this level. Um, they are savage. But as I said, you know, it's the final mission. We're in the Chimera's freaking like, heart of their operation in London. Now, this brings up some questions, in at least in my brain. If this is what London's like, right? Switch rings. Right. Now, here's something, actually, because I finished this game last night. Um, and you unlock extra weapons to go back through the game with on your second playthrough. Which is very insomniac. I have never known that. So, I'm really looking forward to playing this through again with the new unlocked weapons. I have no idea what they are. I don't know how you get them, whether they just appear. But that's one thing that the Ratchet and Clank series had going for it. Uh, you could power up your weapons once, going through the games. And then most of the Ratchet and Clank games, from what I can remember, at least all of them, I think. Ooh, hello. Hello! Very cute of him to wait for us. Um, yeah, you could then go back through the games uh, um, on a harder difficulty and get even better weapons, which 
See, ah, it's so frustrating. These are good things that we don't get in gaming anymore. You know, a, a really cool reason to go back through the game again. Give us, like, extra unlockables. Meaningful unlockables. Now, I don't remember playing Resistance 3 either, because Ratchet and Clank also had another really cool feature. With the more you used a weapon, it would level up and get more powerful. Apparently that happens in Resistance 3. I found that out the other day. Uh, which leads me to believe I never played Resistance 3. Because I don't remember weapons upgrading and getting powered up. Uh, apparently some people complain about this feature. I think it's a brilliant idea. I am all for that. Weapons that evolve and upgrade as you use them. Um, yes please. That just, that sound, oh, hello. That sounds freaking amazing. Oof. Now, as for the actual quality of Resistance 3, I've heard very mixed things. I've heard that, on average, this one is considered to be good. You know, and I agree. Resistance 2 apparently is supposed to be extremely good. Now, I played that one, and I remember enjoying the hell out of it back in the day. Um, and then apparently Resistance 3 is kind of mixed, but we'll see. We'll get to them. Uh, okay, so this is where we find our first intel. Intelligence Tower. So, extensive venting suggests extreme heat from unknown power source. Radiation readings suggest nuclear-powered conduits uh, lead from Central Tower. Possible the Central Tower... Provides power to the other towers. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Now, see, if we look at the weapons page, it's kind of interesting that there looks like there's space for more weapons. So I hope we get some more information on those. Uh, vehicles? No, I don't think we're going to get any more vehicles. But we do have advanced hybrids. Advanced hybrids are the fanatical defenders of the Chimeran Towers. Every aspect of their uh, physiology has been turned or tuned to grant them extreme levels of performance. They must be outfitted with specialized cooling units to ensure their core body temperature doesn't climb uncontrollably. During the heat of combat, incredibly tough. Advanced hybrids are capable of tearing apart any intruder they encounter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm I'd agree. They, they're pretty nasty. Angels. As if the standard ones weren't nasty enough. Angels have only recently been confirmed. They are believed to be the most advanced Chimeran strain currently operating in Britain. Angels are usually found near Chimeran strongholds. Though there have been some battlefield sightings, initial observation indicate angels exert a command influence over other Chimeran strains. The extent of this connection is unclear. As leadership units, angels don't directly participate in combat. Well, uh, the extent of their offensive capabilities is not known. So they only really attack when they're pushed up into a corner. Um, they're a mixed bag. First time coming up against them, they're pretty rough. But when you know that... Ooh, Jesus Christ. When you... Uh, first come up against them they I mean at least for me they kicked me in the jewels but when I started understanding their capabilities they're actually they're not that difficult to take out these advanced guys though oof not a fan. Not a fan. They like to bend you over and kick you in the booty hole. Repeatedly. And they'll do it with a dirty great big smile on their face. Bastards. Alright. Uh, we've lost a chunk of health again. Again, like... Supplies on this level are fairly plentiful. It's just the encounters themselves are pretty rough. We're getting some auger ammo as well. Q 
keep that auger force fields coming because man <laughs> the auger itself the weapon as much as I, I kind of like the auger I, I don't I don't dislike it put it that way um, the actual weapon itself pales in comparison to that bulls uh, to that bullseye to that um, shield that it can throw up hello oh Sometimes you get little uh, ghibli guys, bodies stuck in the system, uh, and it leads to a hilarity. Oh, this bit, this bit's dirty. Let's get the Ross out. Because they throw an enemy behind you. And he is having a field day with my ass. That went incredibly badly. And I was expecting it too. Oof. What did throw me off though is they drop a guy straight here behind you because they got all these shoots. Um, but he usually comes and hunts you down. This guy didn't. Oof. Okay. This bit can be a little bit nasty in here. We really are quite low on health now. Hello, sweet cheeks. We're going to want to thin this herd out before... Oh, yeah, we got... You name it, it's in here. You name it, we got it. It's like a fucking open season. The bastards in here. Stop jumping around like little oiks, all right? Pick a space, sit there, and allow me to pin one straight through your skull. There you go. Was that that difficult? It wasn't that hard, was it? Reperforate your bonds with some kind of high caliber. Ooh. Don't think that was a kill shot, sadly. You can see how gribbly these guys can be. You just gotta be patient. Oh, so much patience. Now, unfortunately, we're running out of ammo for our sniper here, but again, ammo for it is fairly common. I think the developers knew that you were gonna be leaning on this, this far eye quite a bit. And, you know, they were right. <laughs> because old Nathan, he's gripping this thing tight. He's 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 babying this thing. He, he'd be feeding this thing from a bottle if he could. And that's all right. Ah, you shit. I know you perch up there, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that as a win. Sit down and shut up. It's clear. It's quiet. Too damn quiet. I don't like it. No, sir. Because of the color palette in this game, it can be difficult. Because the enemies um, kind of blend into the backgrounds. Which, from a game design standpoint, is kind of frustrating. But from a logical standpoint, uh, it makes perfect sense. You don't want your dudes to stick out like a sore thumb, do you? Having said that, I'm not sure the Chimera really worry about these kind of things. Oh, he's hard-headed. Right, there has to be some health in here somewhere. Surely. Maybe. Hopefully. 
Even if I say please. Bastards. Utter bastards. Fine. Oh, we're empty. Got loads for the hailstorm. Loads for the auger. That's good. That's good. Oh. Very nice. Not what we were looking for, but very nice. Yep. Got one round left. Make it count. Right through his chin. Yes. Down like a sack of shit. Let's just get as many of these out as we can. There's plenty of these to pick up. Come into my kill zone, friend. <laughs> yeah, they're not... Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get the hang of how grenades work in this game. But, you know, whatever. I guess. Now... If we look up into these corners, you can see some oiky bastards. Sadly, we don't have anything left in the far eye, but we do have bullseye. Yeah, can't can't tell to be honest if that's doing much more damage. Like I say, I I guess it is. I mean, it says it is, so but it doesn't really feel like it is. Yes, we can still hear more. Oh. Oh. Luckily, we shot him in the gun till he died. Now, also in this corner. Ah, oh, he's not even looking at us. Right. Good. All present and correct. Ah, oh, far eye ammo. Yes. Yes. Not far eye ammo, but they're not giving us a lot of health, are they? Being very stingy with that. That's all right, game. I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'll survive. Don't worry about it. It's good. What we do, isn't it, Nathan? We just, we just keep going, huh? Just keep going. Fuck the game. Stingy. Shotgun ammo. Find shotgun ammo. You're probably gonna need the shotgun. I see health. Thank you. Very, very generous of you, game. Ooh, okay. Okay. Good stuff. Excellent progress. Or something. Still think the game's being a bit of a dick. That's okay. Now, this section. <laughs> this section on paper isn't too bad. But there's a few little areas here where you can die before you even notice the enemy's really spawning. Like, by the time you've seen them turn up, you're dead. And this is really gribbly. You can see this is where they're manufacturing... Manufacturing their mutant bastards. I guess these are full of angels, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. Oof. Oh, oh, hey, we got, we got quick movers. You know, probably. Don't care too much about wasting the far eye on these guys. But when we have 40 mil grenades, 
pretty sure this is like the best use for 40 mil grenades, like ever. I want to say there's two of them here. These guys either come in a two pack or a three piece. I think they were in a three piece. Nope, they're in a two pack. Happy with that. Okay. 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 I'm not scared. You are. Nah, me and Nathan, we're not afraid of nothing, are we? Huh? Chimeran scum. Nothing but a bunch of mutant bastards. See, luckily... I know where these guys are going to come from. Because... I played ahead. Uh... Oh, we're out of range. Really? That's unfortunate. That, um, special, well, that alt, alt fire is really good. It's absolutely devastating. But. When it goes wrong, it's a, it's a huge waste of ammo for that thing. <clears throat> so I've never experimented with the uh, other weapons that we get. Where are you crouching? You sneaky little camping bastard. You see that? I guess when they were handing out brains, these guys got a two scoop. Right, what have we got? Two scoops of brains for these guys. Everybody else got a quarter measure. Mm, five left in the far right. That will have to do for now. We'll make it work. We'll find another load later. There's way more ammo uh, in this level than you can pick up. I'm going to assume that's for the harder difficulties. Yeah, first time I came through here, I was literally Swiss cheesed in seconds. I didn't even see those guys, like, turning up. Okay. Any other ammo packed around? I don't know why there's all this human ammo this far into the tower. I suppose there was an assault team that made it this far in. Obviously had their bodies taken away and reclaimed. Oh, these are just steel heads. That's fine. I say just. Ooh. Oh, it's always... It's, it, it feels frustrating when you get a shot that glances off the armor. Oh, it just doesn't go through. Thought I could hear something behind me then. I was going to say, I remember none of this. Oh, hello. I do remember these guys, though. I do remember these guys. Shit. I remember them a little bit too late. Now, I thought we got their weapons. But we don't. Was that the second game that we get their weapons? Not sure. I guess we'll find out. Nice. Very nice. No goodies here. Nope. Let's keep this party wagon moving. Ooh. We go up, we go down, we go down, we go up. 
Hopefully we're going to where we need to be. We were losing the battle outside the tower. The few tanks that remained would soon be overwhelmed by the seemingly infinite hordes of Chimera. Our only hope lay with the few soldiers who had managed to infiltrate the tower. It was up to them to find a way to destroy it from the inside. Last hope, eh? Yeah, so all that armor that was just brought in is slowly being eroded away and smashed. Kind of rough. I mean, you think how much the Americans probably brought, but the sad thing with the Chimera, you know, if you think of the hundreds of millions of people, maybe even billions of people, because they've taken out Russia, the entirety of Europe, all the way up to Britain, they, they have billions of soldiers. So, yeah, you could kill them by the millions, but you, you, you haven't even scratched the numbers. Uh, and every one of your soldiers that dies, potentially is another soldier that's going to come back. <sighs> they are a terrifying enemy. They really are. Oof, health. We like health. Lots of weapons and supplies. Big bundle of health. Hmm. I see. Okay. Oh. Hmm. What's cool about that, it's just over in the distance. You can see the rollers. And they're spraying acid on bodies. Which is kind of cool. Ow, thank you. Oof. Nice try. Nice try. You get... Oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Uh Oh the battery's low. You know, I have to say something about this um Dual Shock 3 that I have here. The battery on it lasts and lasts and lasts. Whereas my PlayStation 4 controllers, the battery is really bad. And I do mean really bad. And that went really poorly. Really poorly. Yeah, I don't want to waste my rocket ammo really, but I might have to here. Now, the unfortunate thing about these supplies is you can't go back and grab them. Oh, there is more rocket ammo there, I suppose. So. We have plenty. Okay. I guess we're just going to have to let loose with the lark. Because this guy is a bit of a dick buffer. Yeah, he's going to kill that dude. I think, like, four shots. God, he takes more than four shots. Well, if my... Soldier dude didn't launch a suicide charge, he would have survived. But you know, silly man. So we've got some advanced goons next. Uh, 
Okay, what have we got? Oh, we got more for the carbine now. Nice. Oh shit, we're empty. We're empty. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm fine, you're fine. Well, he's not fine, he did a silly suicide charge, but everybody else is fine. Okay. So we need to go through that. Now, I think if memory serves... Oh, here we go. If memory serves, the next intel location was around here somewhere. In fact... I th yeah, okay. So the next intel location was under here, if I remember correctly. Yes, it was, because there's supplies here. So. We could get the right one. Um, observations. So, 14th of July, 51. Initial assessment of Central Tower, Dr. Thomas Yarling. Interior supports would make structure extraordinarily resistant to external pressure. Extremely cold ambient temperature. Several men have suffered spontaneous nosebleeds due to the dry air. Oh, that's the least of their worries. Assembly line allows for rapid production of creatures. Equipment can easily accommodate creatures larger than widowmakers or angels. Power conduits throughout structure could theoretically create a charged field in the center at uh, the entire height of the structure hmm hmm is that right a central power source okay What do you got over here, guys? You valiant bastards. Heroes. I like the way they walk down in, like, perfect unison. You can tell they were just spawned in at the exact same, like, place. Okay. Okay, and I think we get our next, um, uh, what do you call it, intel thing pretty quickly. The final intel of the game, interestingly enough. Must be. Did they say they had Cartwright? They've extracted Cartwright. I hope so, because he was cool. <laughs> 